okay? Who does not want a clean, moisturized, and refreshed butthole? Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, also known as Cole and Cole. If you are new, if you are new and you enjoy, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. For my returning boo things, hey boo, what's up, what it do? This video is going to be real quick, short, sweet, and to the point. And for those of you, if you know, you know. This is going to be how you take a quick whole bath. Some may even call it a bird bath. But like I said, if you know, you know. If you want to see my quick recommendations on how you can take a quick little, then keep watching. Okay, you guys, some of these products that I have in the video, these are things that I have shown you guys before. You don't have to do all of these steps. You can just do some of the steps. And I also give you like some alternatives to, instead of using the products, there are different things that you can use. If you have some recommendations, some little quick tips, tricks that you have, comment down below. You know, you gotta help a sister out. I be reading them comments. I know y'all be in my comments. So we can learn from each other. This quick little, it's basically like a wash off. Um, if you're from the South, I know you have heard that term. A lot of people may have not heard that term. It's a wash off. It's what you do when you need to spruce up, clean up, wash off, but you don't have time to take a bath. You don't have time to take a shower. Like you've been outside, it's hot. You just want to freshen up before you sit down on your couch. You just, you know, you may be, <laughs> smelling yourself a little bit, but you don't want to take a shower. You may uh, even find yourself in a situation where you're having a little pressure applied and you need to uh, clean up a little bit, but you ain't got time to do your whole routine that you would normally do, but you gotta do something. This is what this video is for. This routine is really quick. Like in real life, it takes about five minutes to do. Even if you did all of these steps, you can do this in about five minutes. The longest part of the routine is literally gonna be the teeth brushing because you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes um so of course we're going to start with brushing our teeth you're going to brush your teeth you're going to get your tongue scraper out you're going to scrub that tongue get all of that odor that bacteria that's out you're going to use the world famous mouthwash you guys know i love this mouthwash i rave about this mouthwash Make sure you read the directions and you do what they say because if you don't do what it say, then it's probably not gonna do what it's supposed to do, okay? You gotta rinse your mouth for, I think it's like a minute, and then you gotta spit that out, put some more in the cap, and I'm gonna need you to gargle, okay? You gotta get it back there. You gotta gargle and then you gotta spit it out. And then we're done with our oral care. It's just that quick, guys. Don't skip the oral care, okay? Whether you're doing it for yourself because you just want to freshen up. You want your mouth. You want it to feel fresh. You want it to feel clean. Maybe you ate something, you know, maybe you had your little, some little sour cream and onion chips or something, you know. You want to brush your teeth. You want to rinse your mouth out. You want to get that nasty taste out your mouth. You want to get that stank breath out the way. And especially, once again, meeting up with your sneaky link. Okay, don't be meeting up with your sneaky link and you ain't took care of it that bread okay don't be putting that hot bread in nobody's face and don't nobody want to be kissing you and tasting that your food that you ate four hours ago because you didn't take two minutes to brush your teeth now of course you don't have to be a lip gloss snob like me but i can't take it if i don't have lip gloss on my lips and i'm basically losing my shit like that's just the honest truth i'm that person that's going to reapply my lip gloss multiple times a day and this is one of my favorites it's by summer fridays once again, I've shown you guys this lip gloss before in a previous video. It is thick. It's thick like um, petroleum jelly, but it's very moisturizing. That's what I like about it. So this is a good option if you don't want to use like your um, fancy lip gloss because that's my other one. That's like my, I put my makeup on, I'm going outside. Lip gloss, I pretty much use this one when I'm at home or like if I'm at work. The next quick thing you want to do, all right, we've taken care of our oral care, we've put our lip gloss on. The next thing you're going to want to do is, which is old school, is what everybody knows, is what you've been doing. If you know anything about a bath or a bird bath, <laughs> once again, is what some people call it, um, you're going to get a rag. You know, some people call it a washcloth. Once again, I'm from the South. It's a wash rag. You're going to get a, or a face towel. Some people even call it a face towel. 
whatever you call it. You want to get that, hit it with some um, hot water, hot, hot. Hit it with some hot water, put whatever your shower gel is of preference, and then hit them on this girl. Hit it with your preferred shower gel. So whatever it is that you would normally actually shower with. And then I'm gonna need you to get in there, girl. Get Hit them armpits, okay? Those are the number one places that if you are a little tink tink, it's probably gonna be them armpits, okay? So make sure you wash your armpits off, dry them real good. And even if you um, maybe don't have time, an alternative to using the washcloth is always a baby wipe most people have baby wipes in their house whether they still in their kids baby wipes or you use baby wipes like i do personally use them in addition to um like a wet wipe so you can always rip out a baby wipe same thing hit those on pits after you do that of course you're gonna reapply your deodorant it doesn't really work if you're putting fresh deodorant on old deodorant because old deodorant is already stinky from whatever body odor you have accumulated so that's kind of like the point of wiping your own piss clean starting over new deodorant this one by dove is one of my favorites it is the cucumber scent i'm a little weird it just smells fresh in my mind makes me feel fresh um so that's why i use it i love it in the summer times this would not be a quick pro bath if we didn't um you know you gotta clean up you like you gotta hit downstairs okay now once again i'm gonna give y'all some options you can also use a wash rag with it you're gonna do the same thing i mean you're pretty it's just as if you were in the shower my friend it's the same routine as if you were in the shower you're gonna get your wash rag you're gonna wet it you're gonna put your shower gel your soap whatever it is and then guess what you're gonna cock that leg up that one leg you're gonna cock it up somewhere and you're gonna get in there you're gonna wipe it down you're gonna squeaky clean her and then you're gonna dry now in addition to or in replace of you could also use like i'm using in this video you can also use um whatever your feminine wash is like the one in the video I'm using is by Honey Pot. You can always use that with a wash rag. You can also use it with a sandy wipe, a baby wipe, whatever it is that you need that's going to clean up down there. You know, these are options, guys. You do what works for you. You can use the wash rag. You can use the wash rag with your shower gel. You can use the wash rag with your um feminine wash you don't even need to use the wash rag you can use the shower gel you can use the feminine wash you can use your fingers you can use a wet wipe a baby wipe with the shower gel with the feminine wash use something okay that's the point that i'm making here that is what this is for just make sure make sure you're using something in order to freshen up down there now, after you have used your product of choice, you have cleaned up the Magic V. She's fresh, she's clean. Don't forget about the backside, okay? Don't forget about your backside, okay? Make sure you also clean back there. You have dried back there. Now, some of y'all gonna look at me a little crazy, and if you want to, that's fine. Don't be in my comments. You do what you want to do, okay? I'm not an OBGYN. I don't know about your downstairs. I only know about my downstairs. And these are the only options for you, girl. You do with it what you please, okay? But after you have washed that backside, you have dried that backside, give you some options here. I'm going to give you something that you can add to your wash routine, okay? Get you a little witch hazel. It also comes in multiple different scents. I have never tried any of it that was scented, only the original that I have for you here in the video. Get you one of those round cotton pads. I don't even know if it's a cotton pad. I don't know what it is, but you see it. This right here, whatever it is. One of those, pour some witch hazel on it, and do a good little swipe swipe between them cheeks, okay? I don't know. It just gives you a wonderful, clean, fresh sensation down there. And it's also, you know, it's good for the skin, okay? think i'm lying read the back of the bottle y'all are gonna think i'm weird but witch hazel if you read the directions it says that it cleanses 
moisturizes and refreshes okay who does not want a clean moisturized and refreshed butthole <laughs> just saying just saying you know you find yourself out here partaking in certain activities you need to make sure the back side is good too just saying i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you are new please go ahead and subscribe if you have any tips of your own that you would like to share go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll catch you guys in my next video.